In last week's devotion, I talked about the Paschal candle. And today I want to say more about that word Paschal, as in Paschal candle. Paschal means Passover, or sometimes it means the Passover lamb. When Christians use that word, it's often in the same sense that the Apostle Paul used it in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, when he wrote, Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Or more literally, he wrote, Christ, our Pascha, has been sacrificed. So, Paschal means Passover, or sometimes it means Passover lamb. The Paschal candle is the candle of the Passover lamb, Jesus. The Passover lamb who was slain has begun his reign with his rising from the tomb on Easter. The candle of the Passover lamb symbolizes those 40 days of convincing proofs that he gave to his disciples that he was alive again. Another place where you see that word Paschal used here recently at Trinity is when we sang that hymn, At the Lamb's High Feast We Sing. That hymn uses the word Paschal three times. The first time it uses it like this. The hymn says, Where the Paschal blood is poured, death's dread angel sheathes the, the sword. Meaning, the Paschal blood, the blood of Jesus, our Passover lamb, delivers us from eternal death. The second use of the word Paschal in that hymn is this. Jesus is called the Paschal victim. And that must mean something like uh, Jesus is the Passover lamb, and like the Passover lamb, he's the innocent one who dies for the guilty. He's the Paschal victim. And then the third use of that word in that hymn Jesus is the Paschal bread. Now, Jesus was holding Paschal bread, Passover bread, in his hands when he said, Take eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So Paschal bread is another name for the bread of Holy Communion, the body of Jesus. In Jesus, our Paschal lamb, in Jesus, our Passover lamb, God is leading us out of bondage to sin, death, and the devil and into the promised land of heaven. Let us pray. Almighty God the Father, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, you have overcome death and opened the gate of everlasting life to us. Grant that we who celebrate with joy the day of our Lord's resurrection may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever, Amen.